so this is the epiphany I had. First of all, part of what like people find frustration either in speaking or teaching or you know, just human interactions, part of their frustration... Well, okay, so this is how you can key in on not being frustrated. So this is the, the, the key. So like, you know, um, you've heard the expression, a watch pot never boils, right? It just seems like forever when you stand there just watching the pot. However, if you, um, but there's some things you know about the, just the basic physics of boiling a pot, right? So you need a pot, you need water, and you need heat. Unfailing. If you create, if you put those three things, those dynamics in a context, you know that the water is going to boil. Right. And so you, you, you put the water in the pot, you put the pot on the stove, you turn the stove on, you turn the timer on, and you walk away because you know without a doubt that the water is going to boil. So there's no need to, to stand and watch the water because you know that all the physical laws of thermodynamics say that in a certain amount of time, at a certain heat, that the water will start to boil. So there's no reason to watch it, particularly if you have a timer. If you don't have a timer, you might want to at least stay close to the stove. So what makes a person get frustrated about teaching? What makes a person get frustrated about working with somebody? It's when they have a doubt about the thermodynamics that's in front of them. When they have a doubt about if the stove is really going to heat up, if the the if there's enough water in the in the pot, if the uh, if the pot has a crack, they or, or they don't trust their timer because the, the the timer has been off in the past, and so. What causes people frustration, particularly when working with other people, is this whole thing about doubt. At the core of, of, of frustration is doubt. Because when you sit on a chair, you sit down. Why? Because you trust that the structural integrity of that chair will be able to support your physical representation in the earth, right? So you sit on the chair without any doubt. However, if you go to someone else's house and you, you, you grab the chair first and it's a little bit rickety, you are tentative in sitting down because now you have doubt. And so if, if, if we want to be effective with, with kids, we want to be effective in, in our personal lives, one of the things that we have to remove is all doubt. Now, the interesting thing about the, the, the relationship between what's on the stove and what happens in my classroom or what happens as a social worker or even what happens as a cop or, or, or a police officer on the street is that the, what I know for sure is that the stove is going to heat. I know for sure that the pot is going to contain water. I know for sure that I can put the water in the pot. I know for sure that I can set the timer. So where does the doubt come in? Because the, 